Many people are late to a very important date. Everyone knows that line from Alice in Wonderland. We also know that at that time in history, that film was about drug abuse, and we know that today. That poof of smoke that came above the Cheshire Cat, we know that was what that was about. We also value the wisdom in that scene with Alice in Wonderland that if you don't know where you're going, then there's no point in telling you which road goes to where. And that was sort of interesting to me. My late father was an excellent planner. He planned his life to a T, to the point that he had some decent retirement, but we were no Rockefeller. And that's not on you, that's not on me, that's on his wisdom of wealth. Now, most people in America do not teach their children about wealth. We are all very grateful and thankful for Robert Kiyosaki, who wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and any parent out of poverty should read that $10 book. Get it on their iPhone or download it from YouTube. But in truth, the best way to handle reading, frankly, is still in the pages of a book because you can underline things, you can highlight things, and you can have things as always a reminder that you can go back to your bookshelf, pull the book off, and look for your notes again to keep you reminded of what's important now and again. In life, we can talk about the wooing of women, but usually that's a private thing. And God doesn't want that out there because people will make fun of it. And I apologize to the beautiful and brilliant woman who wants me to do that. But the reality is that in my life, if you're not brilliant, I'm not going to even notice if you're beautiful. Because beauty is in the soul. And beauty comes through the eyes. And beauty comes through your words. And beauty comes through no lies. So when I'm talking like this, I'm telling you that if you've been lying, stealing, and cheating me out of my rights to my person, my paperwork, paperwork, or my property, I don't find you beautiful. I find you a liar, a cheat, and a thief. And you and I will never be friends. You see, you don't have the right to take over my life. And you don't have the right to imply before God that you could live my life better than me, which is an arrogant statement one of my late siblings said to me. I thought, really, look at who you married. Really, look at the behavior of your boys. And really, give me a break. Because that marriage pretty much set off a bunch of horrible events where you didn't show up. And they weren't horrible because you weren't there. They were just missing you there. And openly, it's why you don't have a relationship with me. Now, in life and in time, we have to decide what makes a person. Is it their genitalia that makes a person? Or is it their heart, mind, and soul? And what they've accomplished in their life? And what are you willing to give people accolades for? The size of their package or the depth of their soul? The brilliance of their mind or the way their body evolves over time. My biggest disappointment is in Hollywood, outside of the bastard men that are abusing women, is the truth and reality that women are so vain, or that Hollywood is so forcing them to stay this youthfulness that they're not aging gracefully with their own genetics. They're putting in plastic, they're putting in silicone, they're doing all sorts of things that just make them look, well, heretic is a word that comes to mind, but just pathetic. And I feel sad for them because if they just allowed themselves to age gracefully, letting the lines come and the jaw uh, expound and whatever it is, and I don't know the words to, to join in that way, that people would still love them today.